in the International Junior Holstein Show Ring. Judge Conroy has completed his placing in our four-year-old cow class. Placing third in the class is entry 399, Carl Dot Bautista Emma, exhibited by Landry and Dakota Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. Second in the class is entry 405, RJR Crush 5834, exhibited by Tessa and Stella Schmacher and the Reuter Kids of Whitewater, Wisconsin. And winning the class and also named best utter is entry 394, our John Crushing on Courtney, exhibited by JC and Hadley Ross of Delavan, Wisconsin. Congratulations. <laughs> Pat, your thoughts on this class? A nice uh, class of four-year-olds once again, uh, but uh, quite an easy winner for, for Big Fluff here and I. This cow uh, comes right to the top, uh, fairly easy, extremely hard top, good leg at a cow that uh, looks like she's milking quite heavy, but we give her the advantage over the cow in second, just a cow that shows a little more substance uh, all the way throughout. She's a cow that tracks a little nicer on her rear legs today, particularly on the left rear foot to go over a, a similar frame dairy cow to follow in second. Second cow, beautiful uttered cow, and it is the udder, the quality she has to the fore udder, particularly in between the teats on the right side, the way that rear udder's tied in a little nicer at the top of the rear udder that gets her over the white cow in third. Third over fourth, I prefer the way this cow carries her pins. When she's out on the mood, she's much harder across her top from her chine back to her grow bone than the big, big powerful strength uh, cow following out in fourth. Fourth cow really loved the power and strength. Our judge has completed his placing in the four-year-old cow class. I'd like to ask our first and second place juniors if you could take a step forward. Second place juniors, entry 765, DND Pirelli on-site EXP shown by Jackson Burris of Mabel, Minnesota. She is also third in the class. Second in the class, best utter and first junior is entry 764, Heavenly Zora E.T., shown by Dylan Freeman of Bremen, Indiana. And winning the class, and also with the honors of best bred and owned, is Hardcore Sea Tie Sundance ET, shown by Keith and Donette Fisher of Hardcore Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his reasons. An exceptional class of four-year-olds here, and not necessarily the easiest to line up, but boy, it's fun to look at good ones and try to analyze them here. Uh, the cow we've got to win this class today started off in third and just kept coming up. She's a cow that's just a no-holes kind of cow. So much power and strength and front end, and it is just the length of frame, the overall mass to that front end, the width through the chest floor. That takes her over this super clean and angular cow coming out in second. Second place cow, I don't think she'd look any wetter if she just walked out of a car wash. Extremely sharp and clean and angular beautiful rear udder on this cow. If you're going to get critical of her udder, although I did make her best udder, I want to tuck those front teats in just a little bit. But she just lacks that extreme length of frame and that substance to get her up in the top spot today. Second place over third, similar type of cow. I think she moves more comfortably on her rear legs, a little bit bloomier to that rear udder. Third place cow is a really balanced cow from the side profile. You love her from the side. You get her in the line. She just lacks that extreme width to rear udder. Fourth place cow, this uh, young lady with the roan cow, we had her way too low off the start and apologized to her, and we tried to put her where she needed to be. Extremely balanced cow with a beautiful rear udder. It's her correctness of rear legs that takes her over this young lady's cow coming out in fifth. Fifth place cow, you love the big, strong uphill run she's got correct memory system. It's her bloom of rear udder that takes her over this stale coming out in six. Sixth place cow is another beautiful side profile cow. A cow that is very stale. She's fresh over a year. Just lacks that boom boom in the back room uh, to get up any higher in the class today. But she is so much more balanced. Cleaner throughout. Cleaner especially over those hooks and pins than this cow that's coming out in seventh place. Seventh place cow is just fresh a couple of days. Love to see this cow clean off and, and get with it here and I think it could be a little different story for her. Congratulations.